Hey, what's up guys? Today, uh, just a little video about Ludwig Wittgenstein's meta-philosophy and uh, specifically ethics and morality. Um, Wittgenstein never explicitly wrote about ethics or morality, um, but he did write a lot about meta-philosophy. Meta-philosophy is the study of philosophy itself, the philosophy of philosophy. What is philosophy in essence? What are we doing when we do it? And you might think, like, what's more useless than that? You know what I mean? Philosophy on its own is already pretty, you know, difficult to wrap your mind around and um, difficult to apply for many people. So, um, Wittgenstein talked a lot about that. And uh, in general, he, you know, liked to say that it's more of an activity rather than... Uh, you know, a method for gaining knowledge, um, which places it more in the realm of art rather than science. You know, science is really like one method to apply to many different things, to learn one aspect, the empirical aspect about a given thing, and it, it can't really go beyond that. But philosophy has such a wider range of, um, you know, levels of inquiry and applications uh, that it's, it's really much more difficult to really come up with a definition for it. You know, uh, Dorian Sagan, Carl Sagan's son, had a pretty good one. He said the difference between science and philosophy is that uh, the scientist learns uh, more and more about less and less until he knows everything about nothing. And the philosopher learns less and less about more and more until he knows nothing about everything. I thought that was pretty good. But so pe anyway, people would uh, ask Wittgenstein, you know, why don't you write about ethics? And um, he said of philosophy on the whole that, you know, the whole pursuit and activity of philosophy is in itself an ethical endeavor. And so what are we really doing when we do philosophy, we're thinking about perspectives. We're thinking about how we think about things. What is the best way to conceptualize something, whether it's philosophy of art, philosophy of science, philosophy of language, religion? How are we to theorize and speculate about these things in an accurate and precise way? And so when we apply that more generally to our lives, us as spiritual beings, you know, ethics is about how to live, like in detail, in logical detail, a code of ethics is basically a set of standards, basically a, a set of principles um, that you put into action. Um, and ethics and morality often get lumped into one, and it's no surprise, um, because whereas ethics is that, that code of how to live in technical detail, morality is more of how to be on a spiritual and existential level. So it forms the basis for our code of ethics. And I think Wittgenstein, Wittgenstein wanted to go as deeply as possible on everything that he, that he wrote about, lectured on, and, and lectured about. And so he wanted, I think, to stay out of the ethical conversation because in philosophy, especially academic philosophy, there's a lot of talk about ethics and not actually much talk about morality. So there's a lot of talk about the logical framework of principles and how to live, but morality serves as the foundation for what allows that set of principles, that ethic to exist. Morality is meant to account for its existence, is, is meant to serve as a foundation for you know, you know, how those principles are based. And it, morality should give us some insight as to how it is that ethics and logic itself and truth itself uh, are founded. And so a lot of philosophers are very afraid to go there. They're humans too. You know, we, we think of the philosopher as someone who is a very big thinker, um, but they're just as likely as anyone else to fragment things, to compartmentalize their interests and whatnot. Uh, it's just a psychological reality, you know? 
And the deeper you go, the more inward you have to turn, the more you have to face um, your own existence when you're dealing with those bigger questions. And morality really is, um, I think, uh, if we had to choose one area of philosophy, the one that you go to, uh, to really explore those foundations. So I think Wittgenstein was acutely aware of that. And so he didn't want to enter into shallow discussions about codes of ethics uh, running around in arbitrary circles with these other philosophers, especially when he was much more intelligent and much wiser than they were, you know. He was uh, sort of the, the dark horse and leader, and, but still outside figure of the Vienna Circle. Uh, remember, in the, in the you know, early 20th century was that circle of intellectuals and... Um, and thinkers in Vienna, Austria, um, including some philosophers we could speak of who really kind of put their heads together and tried to solve uh, some of the some of the biggest you know questions of existence. Um, it was it was kind of a second wave um, Greek symposium, but in the 20th century, you know, Wittgenstein wasn't really a part of that club. He didn't want to be part of any club. Um, because he, he knew that as a philosopher, he was on his own journey. And so he would, you know, kind of hang out wherever he hung out and up in Norway or, you know, at Cambridge or whatever. And he would come back to Austria every now and then pop in to a conversation or two and drop a bunch of big questions uh, and sort of leave them to the Vienna Circle to deal with. And then he would disappear for a couple of years, you know. <laughs> and so a lot of those a lot of those guys were ethicists philosophically. And I, I think Wittgenstein was just on another level with regard to the depth of importance in ethics um, because of the necessity that of, of a moral foundation that was implied by any conversation on ethics. And maybe out of respect for them, you know, he didn't involve himself in a lot of those conversations directly because uh, he probably would have embarrassed them anyway. He was a very brutal, logical um, debater. <laughs> you know? um, so, uh, yeah, Wittgenstein's idea that philosophy on the whole is an activity and ethics is the code of action that we apply to our lives. And on a deeper level, morality is that which sets a foundation for how and why those ethical codes are to exist. I think that's why uh, he didn't really write about ethics, didn't touch on morality too much, but if you look at some of his lecture notes, uh, you, you can find some of that. Um, and I think those are kind of his general views on, on ethics. Um, within the category of metaphilosophy. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.